This is unbelievable. When I first set up my email accounts with Instantly, it took about eight hours total because I didn't know what I was doing. I did it the poor person way in the very inefficient way that took a very long time. It also took a minimum of a week because you could only set up a certain number of accounts every day. Now you can do it in 10 minutes with way less effort, way less button pushing. I love it. Step one, go to bulkaccountsbuy.com. Click on Gmail accounts with app password. Uh, go to this one. Now, you're gonna want age Gmail accounts with app password 2021. Quantity, I'd go with 100 accounts, but if you don't have the money, then just go with 50 accounts. Add to cart. All right, sometimes they try to swindle you, so make sure it's just the actual quantity you want. And I say swindle, but that's a joke. These people are fine. Okay, proceed to checkout. Yeah, type in your info there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can pay with Bitcoin using Coinbase. Let me just show you how to do that real quick. Yeah, yeah, so you send Bitcoin here. That's the number of Bitcoin you send, um, but don't do that. It's kind of a pain. Now what you wanna do is pay using credit card. So you're here, you click on here, start a chat. You say, I want to buy 50 and then you copy this, send the message and say, I'd like to bang this out right now. And they should send it to you right about then, or it'll take up to about 24 hours. Um, one time it actually took me four days. Um, but if you do it like this, they shouldn't. Do it before 3 p.m. Eastern time, because these people live in India, and they will be asleep if you do it later. And once you bang that out, you will send a document that looks like this on the right. So I added the instantly plugged in column and the change name column. I haven't done that, but it probably doesn't matter that much. So, email, at password, password, recovery email. Thank fucking God. You don't have to log in these one by one. You don't have to turn on IMAP because they're all already turned on. Thank God. You don't have to set up two-step verification. You don't have to create that password. This is like the Holy Grail. But there's even more. I found a way to hook them all up all at once. Yeah. On the left, we have instantly. More on the email accounts pane. Click add new. Click any provider. Click bulk import from CSV. Yeah, I know. Look at this sample. Now you're gonna wanna file, um, make a copy. Yeah, you just make a regular copy of it. Okay, there's some instructions right here, but I'll just walk you through it. Here we have an example. Okay, I'm going to shrink these so you guys can't actually see my passwords. Um, yeah, see these are spaced out by two. You don't have to do that. So what I like to do is go on this one. Do control shift down arrow to select all the emails, then start here and paste them in. You see it auto populates with the same uh, username. That's good. Here, you're going to want to put the name of your <laughs> fake assistant who actually quote unquote sends the emails. Uh, this is the name I came up with. So you use a different, use a female American name because that gets the the highest open rates. Um, yeah, pa I'm at password. For that column, you just put in the app password. So control, shift, down arrow, copy, paste. Uh, for this column, I'm at post, just delete everything down here. So there's just imap.gmail and then drag that down so it's on every single row of an email. Uh, now on that port, just drag this all the way down. Uh, 
S username. Yeah, it's just the same as the email. You see here, it looks like there's some sort of um, error. So you would just copy the same email. Copy the same email, okay. Um, the pass, the IMAP, this SMT password, you do the same app password again. Okay, good, good. Uh, SMTP host, again, just take the smtp.gmail.com, drag that all the way down. Okay. Uh, SMT port, just do the top one, drag it all the way down. Okay, daily limit. Uh, yeah, I'll just set this at 20 for Gmail accounts. Okay, and then for here, yeah, set this to two. So then, yeah, you can just take these and drag them all the way down. And this is good. This file is done now. Yeah, now file download as CSV, okay? There we go. Go back to instantly. Here we upload it. Upload. Yes. And then make sure these fields are all mapped the same. Uh, they all will be. Yep. And now you press upload all. And you see it's going to test these. Now for me, it's going to say they're all already connected because they all already are connected. But for you, it's going to say, say something green. Look how easy this is. Isn't this amazing? Hands off. In the previous video, I showed you how to do just one of these emails, and the video was about the same length as this one. But now I show you how to do all of them. And you'll see this go all the way down. And then what I like to do is on this sheet we had, add a column that just says instantly. And you can add a insert a checkbox by insert checkbox. And then just drag that all the way down.